Hey everybody, this is Big Sean C, and we're going to start working on this little project here, a little M92 PAP uh, pistol, and we're going to be, things we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing out the muzzle brake, going to be changing out, uh, doing a rail system, probably from uh, Midwest Industries, and also the, uh, they've got a SIG brace out for this now, so make it a little more usable. And today we're just going to start with replacing the grip. Uh, once we can uh, we'll do the simple stuff first, I guess. Make sure that chamber's empty. And it is. And chose to go with the uh, Magpul MOE grip. There's several grips out there for these. Just want to try this one out. Because I like the other ones that I have on my ARs. Which also means you can change out this little compartment here with any of the other items you want. Hopefully this thing is not on so tight that we strip anything out. Let's take a look and see what happens. Well, I guess I'm going to have to get a uh, thinner flathead than that. Be right back. Alright, we're back with a little bit skinnier flathead. Oh, that wasn't in there as tight as I thought it'd be. See what kind of luck we have with the supplied screw from Magpul. On the upside, it fits my bigger headed screwdriver. So, get in that little hole right there. This is always a fun little. If I had a magnetic tip screwdriver, it would make it a little easier. But I've kind of gotten this down. Going to try to use a little cheater here. I've got this uh, magnet that was that came with the easy to take down pins from Battle Arm Developments uh, for the AR I'm working on. So, going to see if this will work. And of course, the screw is not magnetic. Thanks, Magpul. All right, a little bit of wiggling and working there, got it in. All right, got it screwed in there. Definitely fills the hand better, so it makes it easier to hold as a pistol for certain. I realize that they uh, designed those older grips for a much smaller hand, but uh, I mean, I don't have huge hands or anything. Just guess folks over in that part of the world may have little smaller hands and. Probably a lot more female conscripts and whatnot. And especially since some of their uh, export countries are definitely uh, more diminutive uh, folks. Anyway, uh, that's step one on this. I know this is a real boring, basic, just a changing out of grip, so nothing special there, but it's the, you know, the first part. You know, Got to get some part of it started. 
And folks, definitely do check out our um, Kickstarter campaign we've got going for uh, shooting that uh, video where we're going to try to uh, get the uh, biggest uh, little Tannerite event out there. I'm trying to outdo everybody else out there. There's um, a lot of videos and we've done quite a few. We've got a lot of experience in the area. And if you would, please, if you do like the video, I know this is kind of a boring one, but if you do like it, great. Um, also, please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and share. That's the, definitely the best way to kind of get this channel and keep it going and let me do a lot more things that I want to do. Um, give you guys more content, make it more entertaining as we move along. And have a great day, guys, and be safe out there. And also check out the Facebook site. I'll have the uh, link in the description below along with the, uh, I'm sorry, I meant to say Kickstarter. It's actually Indiegogo is uh, the campaign I'm, site I'm using. Don't know much about either one, but uh, we're giving it a shot. And also check out the Kickstarter campaign for the uh, Haas USMC. He's doing an uh, interesting documentary out there and definitely want to show him some support. Uh, he's definitely uh, given me a lot of uh, information watching his video over the past couple years. And again, guys, uh, have a great day.